Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an Ace Magic computer. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a startup error message of exiting PXE ROM. Or perhaps while your computer is starting to load, the screen goes black and all you see is a blinking cursor in the top corner. I'll show you how to troubleshoot that problem in this video. Before we get going, remember, check the frequently asked questions below in the description if you have a question. It could save you some time getting an answer. I do try to answer all questions and comments though at least a couple times a day if you need to leave me one. Okay, so to get going, power down your computer, make sure it's off, and make sure that it's plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to hit my power button to start it and immediately start tapping on the delete key. This gets me into BIOS. Now there are many different versions of BIOS, so you may not have the exact same one that this computer has. I will show you the options that we're going to find and you need to just look around your BIOS, look in the various tabs, try to find similar options if your BIOS isn't exactly like this one. One of the first things you can check in BIOS, it's usually on your main screen, is your date and time. On this BIOS, I have to scroll down by using my arrows on my keyboard, and then I can see my system date and time. If you're unable to navigate your BIOS, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can use your arrow keys, your tab keys, uh, some of you may have access to your trackpad or your mouse pad on your laptop. If not, try an external mouse that you plug into your USB. Sometimes you can use that in BIOS. And if your keyboard isn't working, your tab keys, arrow keys, try an external keyboard with a USB uh, and sometimes that can help you navigate BIOS. Now this system date and time needs to be correct for your operating system to load correctly and function correctly. So if your date and time is not correct for where you are, fix your date and time, and then you can save and exit. Uh, on my computer, I hit escape to exit. Uh, on this one, it's F10 to save and reset. Uh, so change your system date and time, make sure that it's correct, save and exit, and then try booting your computer up again. If your computer boots up correctly, then you found your issue. It was your date and time. Keep this in mind though, if you have to fix your date and time settings every time you turn on your computer, there's a problem with your BIOS. Usually a CMOS battery, that's a small round battery on your motherboard, usually that is what keeps power to your motherboard and BIOS and keeps your clock settings accurate. If it's changing all the time, it means your motherboard and BIOS is losing power every time you turn off your computer. That would mean you need to replace your CMOS battery. Now on this computer that I'm using in this video, there is no CMOS battery, which would mean it's your main computer battery that you may wanna look into replacing, if that's the case. Again, if you have to change the date and time every time your computer starts. Another thing you may wanna try is if I arrow over to my save and exit, there's an option here to restore defaults. That's basically resetting your BIOS system to system settings. Uh, sometimes BIOS settings can get messed up. Maybe we accidentally change something. Uh, maybe there's a sudden power loss that messes up some settings. But for a variety of reasons, sometimes BIOS gets an error. Uh, this way you can reset it to factory settings and hopefully again that will help your computer boot up. Another thing to check in BIOS is going over to your boot. This is your boot order. This is the order in which your computer looks to different places to boot up an operating system. Make sure that your option number one, the first place your computer looks, make sure that's your hard drive. Sometimes it will change, it'll be USB, um, it'll change to different things to boot up an operating system and that could stop it from loading your operating system. For example, what happens sometimes is boot option three, a, a USB device, sometimes there'll be an error in BIOS where the USB gets sent to the first option. And then if you have a mouse plugged in or a keyboard or speakers, anything you have plugged into your, your USB ports, it's searching there first for an operating system to boot off of. It obviously can't find one and then it can't boot. So make sure that your boot number one, your boot option one is your hard drive. Okay, so those are the BIOS fixes we can try. If those don't work, maybe it's hardware related. Especially if let's say you dropped your computer, maybe something came loose, specifically your hard drive or your solid state drive. So at this point, we can try reseeding the drive. 
That's where you unplug your hard drive or solid state drive and then plug it back in, secure it down. Make sure the connection is secure. Try booting up your computer. If that's not it, then we're not looking at a loose hard drive and we're not looking at a bio system settings. We're starting to narrow down what's wrong. So if those two things don't work, we're looking at either an operating system issue or we're looking at a bad drive, a bad hard drive, bad solid state drive. The last thing you can try in BIOS to troubleshoot the operating system, see if you can find any restore or repair options in BIOS. In this computer's BIOS, there were no options, so that wasn't a troubleshooting step for me. But for some of you, you may find those options. If you do, you can try factory resetting your operating system from there. At that point, if that doesn't work, or if you don't have those options, the only thing left for me to try in my computer shop would be to run diagnostic software on the hard drive. I would plug in my diagnostic USB and I would scan the hard drive to make sure it's healthy. You don't have that software and Ace Magic does not have pre-installed diagnostic software on the computer, so we can't scan the hard drive or solid state drive to see if it's healthy. The way we can do that is try reinstalling the operating system. I will have a video link above, also below in the description. It'll show you how you can install Windows 11 onto your Ace Magic computer. If that works and the install is successful, it means your hard drive is healthy and the issue was a bad operating system, which you fixed by installing it new. If that doesn't work, if you get an error during the install and the install won't complete, then you're kind of seeing that your hard drive is most likely unhealthy. Replace your hard drive or solid state drive and install Windows to the new one. I will have a video link above, also below in the description. It'll show you how to get inside your Ace Magic laptop and replace your solid state drive. I will also have several suggested options for replacing it or upgrading it as long as you're in there. And then again, once you install the new drive, install Windows to the new one. So that's the whole troubleshooting process for a boot loop issue on an Ace Magic laptop. Uh, decide for yourself which one is most likely the most correct that could save you some time knowing where to start. For example, if just before this issue you had a failed Windows update, then instead of trying all the BIOS troubleshooting steps, or instead of reseeding your hard drive, you go right to the repair or restore options because you know it's probably operating system related. Or if you drop your laptop, try reseeding the hard drive first because you know it's probably that and not a BIOS issue. So in that way, you can save yourself time and start troubleshooting at the most likely spot. But that's the end of this video. Again, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below. If you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I will try to help you out. Also, make sure to check out the related link section in my description. From time to time, I include things in there that may help you with your computer life in general. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.